Welcome to today's video where I'll be covering just the LTK. LTK week three, day three. Um, LPL is off for New Year's. The next week, um, the LTK will be off all week. And so will the LPL. So my videos during the week are only going to be power rankings and maybe other things that I'm thinking of doing. I might incorporate other sports into this channel because, it's, I mean, you know, I, I can put whatever I want on it, I guess. So you're here for the LTK. CK coverage from this morning. We have two series here between Hanwha Life, Damwon, uh, Kwang Dung Freaks, and Fred Abrion. Um, so let's get started. I do this every day for all four major regions. I take notes of the key moments of the game, go over it with you to save you time from watching, say, a 41 minute or 42 minute Fred Abrion game because they only play it past 40 minutes. It's the only way they do it. And um, they are annoying as hell to watch because it's such a slow game. Puts you to sleep. Um, but we'll get there. So, Damwon and Hanwha Life. Damwon ends up coming out firing. They uh, they win this soundly, despite the score being the way it is. Um, they looked like the Damwon we are used to. Um, they get a pick play at six minutes in game one. Turn that into a hex tech. Bird all solo kill Judo. This is good. I mean, the top lane of Damwon was solid in this game. Birdall was very aggressive. He had multiple solo kills throughout both games. He definitely doo doo don doo doo. Ha um, ha ha pun. But um, Hanwha Life is like last place. They're tenth in my power rankings. How does he do against? Um, I mean, shoot. How will he do against Sword? We'll see uh, the next round robin of games, but. As far as um, against Dudu, he was great. So, Solo kills him. Hanwha gets a 2v2 kill in bot lane, which is impressive. They're 2v2. Um, we're, we're set up well. The, the Aphelios Braum killed the Jinx Leona. Excuse me. Damwon would take another Drake. Hanwha Life gets a pick play. 15 minutes. Hanwha Life's actually up 3-2 to two in kills. But Damwon's just a better team. They're up three 2k in gold because Showmaker is just racking up uh, CS and creep score over Galio. Um, HLE would go top lane, dive top, because they have a Camille Galio uh, comp, so they're trying to wombo combo. Damwon goes to soul point, so three straight drakes uncontested. This is the problem. We went over this yesterday. These teams are just allowing teams to take drakes uncontested, and in the end, it's screwing them. 20 minutes, Hanwha Life's up 4-2. to two. Damwon's up 3.5k gold. Um, Karis is 2-0-1 on Galio, but Showmaker is up 1.9k gold on Karis. So, with 3.5k gold, more, more than half of it is on Showmaker, who is putting that above the mid laner who's carrying HLE. So, that just kind of give you a, a, an idea of what's happening at 20 minutes. At 22 minutes, the game finally has a fight for a Drake. HLE loses 2-0, Canyon with a double kill, now they have Infernal Soul. They roll that into a Baron, which turns into a 7.5k uh, power play, which then turns into an Elder. You see how this is going to go. It turns into an Elder, 10k lead for Damwon, turns into another Baron, and finally the last fight goes 4-1 to one for Damwon. They end off of it. Um, Canyon and Showmaker with double kills. 9-5 to five score. The way I rolled it off my tongue there and just went instance after instance after instance. I mean, it just kind of snowballed after that. And once they took the Infernal Soul at 22 minutes, it just was Soul, Baron, Elder, Baron, End. Not a lot of fighting. Only 14 kills. Game 2. Bird All Soul kills Doodoo -doo again at 6 minutes. Damwon goes down bot lane. Gets a double kill on Canyon. They go mid lane directly after that. He doesn't even reset. He goes right to mid lane, gets a kill. And that's when I said to myself, this looks like Damwon of old. They're able to go right from bot lane to mid lane, affect both lanes. Canyon was on point in this series. He's my MVP. And this here solidified it, just that decision making. Takes a Mountain Drake, uncontested. Goes bot lane. 15 minutes, Damwon's up 5-1, to one, 4k gold. Canyon has 100% kill participation on Lee Sin. And at 16 minutes, Damwon ends up taking this game. I mean, it, it goes another 10 minutes after this, but 16 minutes is when the game was pretty much, I mean, in Damwon's favor for good. 
They ace for Rip Harold. Duck Dumb and uh, Birdall both with double kills. Turns into an ocean. Hanwha Life would get a pick at 22 minutes, but that wouldn't matter. Damwon would take Infernal Soul Point uncontested. By 25 minutes, Damwon are up 10 to 3. 10k gold. They don't even need a Baron. A minute later, they end through top and mid. Final score 14 to 6. Um, they they crushed them. This this was a, a performance out of Damwon that we're used to seeing. Um, we'll see how they do against SKT this weekend. I mean, not SKT, T1. Um, how they do against T1. Big game uh, between second and third place. I think I have both of them in my power rankings below Gen G on a separate tier because I think Gen G is just that much better than both of them. Um, so we'll see how that how they fare. The second series between the Freaks and Fred Brion, we have two teams that I have in that one. They're both one and four coming into this game. They're in that area of we don't know what they. You know, who's going to be the team that makes the playoffs out of these bad teams? And uh, Fred and Breon looked, I mean, they played their style and it worked for them. So, uh, early game, I mean, not, not early game. Fred and Breon subbed in Sword for um, Morgan. He ends up being my MVP. I'll get to why in a moment. But he definitely gave them a, a, a bit of pizzazz where Morgan was not. So, Fred and Breon go mid lane to start this game off, this series. They get a kill. Turn that into a hex tech. The Freaks would take the next Drake at 13 minutes. So, a Fred and Breon game. If you're not used to a Fred and Breon game, there's not a lot of kills. There's not a lot of action. Most things that happen happen around objectives, even if the objectives are, I mean, the objectives sometimes aren't even fought for. So, 13 minutes, the Freaks take a cloud. Fred and Breon would respond and get three kills. So, now they're up 1.5k gold. Uh, Kwang Down Freaks would get a pick play. Fred and Breon would take an ocean uncontested. 20 minutes, Fred and Breon are up 4 to 1. Kwang Down Freaks are up 1.5k gold, and Umpty is 2 0 oh, 2. So Umpty has 100% kill participation at the moment for Fred and Breon at 20 minutes. He's making things happen. 23 minutes, Kwang Down Freaks go to Soul Point. They win the fight 2 0. Oh, Elm with a double kill on uh, Nidalee. They're playing the Renekton Nidalee comp. So now the game's tied 4-4. Four four. Kwangdong Freaks have a 2.5k gold lead. The Kwangdong Freaks would eventually take the Ocean Soul in the next fight, despite Fred Freon getting a kill, um, and the only kill in the fight. Nothing happens for 8 more minutes, because this is a Fred Freon game. Kwangdong Freaks take the Elder, winning the fight 3-2, but Henna got a double kill for Fred Freon in this fight, which ends up being a, a, a big deal, because... If it wasn't for Sword's uh, heroics, um, I would have picked Henna because Henna was, um, he showed up in both games. But like I said, I'll get to why Sword is in a minute. So Henna gets a double kill after that Elder take. Kwangdong Freaks end up taking a Baron. They're up 4k gold. It's 38 minutes in. So they figure they should push for the end. 39 minutes. They overstay. They screw up. They overstay. Fred Breon aces them, chases them down the top lane. Sword and Umpty both with double kills. And then Sword is the last man standing as he's being hit. He takes down the two, dra two Nexus turrets. He backdoors with all of them in um, gray screen. And, and I believe um, the mid laner for Kwangdong Freak's fate comes out of... Um, comes out of the, uh, the, the fountain. Ends up trying to... Stop him. He cannot. Lava and Sword end up destroying the final two turrets and the Nexus. Um, Sword's by himself by that point. So, like I said, it was a real interesting end of game to watch. I would watch the last, shoot, two minutes of the game. So, if you want to watch this game, you'll see what happened at 39 minutes. Screw the first 38 and how you got there. Game two, even slower. The first three instances of any, anything happening, actually, the first five things of anything happening in this game were Drake-related. I have a black line here at 20 minutes to indicate a gold lead because there was no fighting for anything outside of Drake's, and even then. So, Kwangdong Freaks start the game. First thing they did was take an Ocean Soul and contest it. Fred Breon would get a pick play, take them out in a 12 minutes. 
The Freaks would take a cloud on contestants. So now we're at 20 minutes. There have been three Drakes taken. Fred at Brian has a one, uh, I mean, the Freaks have a 1K gold lead. 25 minutes. Fred at Brian get a pick, takes a cloud. Five minutes later, uncontested, sole point. I'm talking like this because it's just ridiculous how this game was. At 34 minutes, the Freaks are up 2.5K gold because Fred and Brian are emphasizing these Drakes. Keen himself is up 150 CS in the Graves Gragas matchup. Now, obviously, Graves is going to out CS the Gragas. And it almost made me want to take Sword out of my MVP because to be down 150 CS is pretty damn crazy at any point in the game. But Fred Brian at 25 minutes would take the o 35 minutes would take the Ocean Soul uncontest. I mean, Cloud Soul uncontested. Fate would Soul kill Delight nonetheless afterwards. So now Fred Brian has a Cloud Soul uncontested. A minute later, the Freaks take a Baron. In which case, Fred Brian got a kill on the turn. At 37 minutes, um, Fred Brian would get a double kill. Henna double kill. So at 40 minutes, Kwangdong Freaks have a slight gold lead, but not really that much of a gold lead. Everything's pretty much even. Fred and Brian are up 6-1 to one in kills, and it's anyone's game. We go to Elder at 42 minutes. Fred and Brian wins the Elder fight 4-1. to one. Lava with a double kill, and they end the game off of that. Final score is 10-4. to four. Um, Actually, looking closer at these two scores, 14, 35, 20. There are more kills in the Freaks Brian games than the Hanwha Life Damwon games, which actually I didn't even think about till just now. I can't believe that. If you had told me that, even after watching all these without without even remembering the scores, I, I mean, geez. I can't believe that. But nevertheless, Fred Brian 2 0, Kwangdong Freaks keep falling. Um, them and HLE are right now ninth and 10th in my opinion. I think the Freaks are going to end up dropping in my power rankings. We'll see what happens over the weekend, but um, I think they might fall below DRX and they'll be with HLE on the bottom. Fred at Brian is about where I think they are, 6th, 7th, 8th in between, well, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th. Fred at Brian, KT, um, Sandbox, and DRX are all interchangeable in my mind right now. I mean, I like KT on paper, but this isn't about KT. Um, nevertheless, this is my first part of my video today for the League of Legends Roundup. Later on, I will have my LEC and um, LCS coverage in a separate video, so stay tuned for that. Like and subscribe if you enjoy this content, and thanks for watching.